Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena with me, Dark Master for Dark Master Series Gaming. The new set has arrived and it is called Phyrexia All Will Be One. And in this series we are going to be checking out the meta game, the meta decks that are going to be used um, throughout. And we are going to be starting with the Azorius Soldiers deck. Which, by the way, has not got any of the new cards um, in this build. So, um, yeah, it is currently performing at about a 63% win rate. And we're just going to go through what the deck um, entails at the moment. And we're going to have a few matches on the rank ladder to see how it fares up against the other decks. Um, but hopefully there will be some decks that showcase some of the new cards in the meta game um, in some of the other decks that can pop up so you know i mean i don't see how the top deck can be unaffected by any of the new cards you know you would think that there'll be some at least a couple of new cards in there somewhere but there isn't um so anyway let's run through it let's see what we've got we've got the otian frontliner it's an artifact creature soldier, and whenever it attacks another target creature we control, gains 1 plus 1 until the end of the turn. And it's got the unearth ability, which means return this card from the graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste, exile it at the beginning of the next end step, or if it would leave the battlefield, unearth only as a sorcery. We've got recruitment officer for 1, and it's mana ability for 3 plus a planes. Look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card with mana value 3 or less from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. We've also got resolute reinforcements. Flash, so we can cast this spell um, anytime you could cast an instant. Um, it enters the battlefield. Create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. We've got... Four copies of Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Got First Strike and um, non-creature spells cost one more to cast. We've got the Valiant Veteran. Other soldiers you control get plus one plus one. And for five we can exile Valiant Veteran from your graveyard. Put a plus one plus one counter on each soldier we control. We've got Harbin, Vanguard, Aviator. It's got Flying and whenever you attack with five or more soldiers creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain flying until the end of the turn we've got our brutal cathars when this creature enters the battlefield or transforms into brutal cathar uh, exile target creature and opponent controls until this creature leaves the battlefield and that's the day bound ability and on the night bound ability it's got first strike and award cost of pain three life we've got the siege veteran at the beginning of combat on our turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature we control. Whenever another non-token soldier you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one colourless soldier artifact creature token. We've got the Sk Sky Strike Officer, which is going to be handy for our card draw. It's got flying. Whenever Sky Strike Officer attacks, create a 1-1 one, one colourless soldier artifact creature token. We can also tap three untapped soldiers we control and draw a card. And we've got Myril, Shield of Argive. During our turn, your opponents can cast spells or activate abilities of artifacts, creatures or enchantments. Whenever Myril, Shield of Argive attacks, create X11 colorless soldier artifact creature tokens, where X is the number of soldiers we control. Our mana base, Iganjo, Seat of the Empire, for a channel cost of 3. That's 2 in a planes, we can discard it. And it deals 4 damage to target attack and our blocking creature. Costs 1 less for each legendary creature we control. 6 planes, 3 islands, Ottawa, Soaring City for 3 and a island. We can discard it. It returns target artifact creature, enchantment or planeswalker to its owner's hand. And it's 1 less to activate for each legendary creature we control. 3 Adakar Wastes. Uh, we've got four fortified beachheads. As it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a soldier card from your hand. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you reveal the soldier card. We can tap to add planes or island. Or for five, we can tap it. Soldiers we control get plus one plus one until the end of the turn. 
got Plaza of Heroes, tap to add colourless, tap to add one mana of any colour, spend this mana to only cast a legendary spell, tap to add one mana of any colour among legendary permanents where you control, and for three we can tap and we can exile Plaza of Heroes, target legendary creature gains hexproof and indestructible until the end of the turn. We've also got the secluded courtyard, um, it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, tap to add a colourless, and then tap to add one mana of any colour, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, or activate an ability of a creature or a creature card of the chosen type. That is everything in the deck so far. So we're going to jump over into the rank ladder and see how this deck performs in the current meta. We're expecting to hopefully win 63% of our matchups. So let's get going, let's see what happens. So here we go, this is our opening hand. Um, I think we've got everything that we need to have at the moment, so we'll keep that. What should we start with? I think we should start with the secluded courtyard. Um, actually, let's start with the Yorkian frontliner. Okay, so let's jump in and yeah, let's get the Harbin Vanguard Aviator. Actually, let's not. Let's um yeah, let's jump this out. Pump that one up. All ah, right, okay, it only pumps up till the end of the turn. Fair enough. So let's uh, select Soldier. Right, let's uh, Siege Veteran. Put it on this. Let's attack with everything. Why not? We'll put it on that. Ooh, that was a big hit. 4 6 damage. 5 damage, should I say. Graveyard Trespasses out. Okay. Um, let's go for this guy. Let's go for this one as well. Let's hit for three on this one. Let's get the Siege Veteran pumped up. Ah, he's going to go for the Siege Veteran, I think. So that's fair enough. No, no, he's not. Next turn he's dead, I think. Get the Harbin Vanguard Aviator out. And uh, that's game, I think. We've only got three mana. I don't think there's anything that they can do unless they've got a board sweep. Nope, they've given up. I think they've figured that out themselves. And that's match one in the bag. I think we start off with the Ortian frontliner again. Okay, so we'll get the soldiers. We'll get both of these out. Doesn't matter which one we get there, losing it at the end of the turn.
Oh, right, nasty. It's a good call by them. Don't think we're going to win this one. block against that one as long as they don't have a play with fire or something which they're probably going to have <laughs> yeah called it right so let's go for the sky strike again let's go for this one at least then we can uh, target the Voldra and Epicure Go for this. Right, so Brutal Cathar, exactly what we need. Get rid of that. Let's attack with this. And let's claw back our victory. Yes, good stuff. Next up. Let's attack with everything. Um, now we're clawing it back. Might be too late for them now. I think that's game. It's game. They know it. So we managed to just claw that win back just out of the the hut there <laughs> wow so let's start off with the Yortian frontier again hmm. Thalia is next Good job we've got a creature with first strike. Right. Let's reveal this. Hopefully we'll get a land next turn and we can use two Valiant Veterans. Okay, so we just get to use one. Hmm, let's see. What does this do? If damage would be dealt to it, prevent that damage. Phyrex and Vindicate deals that much damage to any other target. Right, I think we just leave it for now then.
Right, he's going for a... Yeah, I thought he was going to go for one of them. It's fine. Let's end the turn. Okay, yeah, so, hmm, totally just being handed. Good game, we'll leave it to him. He's got enough poison counters to destroy us now. Hmm, wasn't prepared for that. Maybe just attack him when I shouldn't have been. Up against the Lesnia enchantments. Let's get Thalia out. Right, what else have we got then? What can we do?
think next turn we win if he doesn't do anything. Get Harbin Vanguard Aviator out and then that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, target a creature we control. Let's go for this one. And that's it. Good game, Selesnia Enchantments. Start with the Ortium Frontliner as usual. Hope they're doing the same. Let's see if they will defend. They're not going to defend. Brutal Cathar this turn. And he gives up. Well, there we have it. The easiest win we've had so far. And we rank up. Let's keep this hand. We'll have a slow start. We'll start with Thalia. We haven't had to use my Rel Shield of Argive yet. It looks like we might be getting there soon though. There we go, we'll have two four fours and we'll attack with both of them. Good game. And that is it. 
Wow, what an overpowered deck this is. I say overpowered, but... We're having fun because we're winning, obviously. We'll have one more match. Start off with the frontliner. Always the best card to start with, I think. That's the unearth ability, so even if it does die, we can still make good use of it. Even if it gets removed, which I think it's going to this time. No, nope, they just give up. Fair enough. I'm not going to argue with that. Starting off slow here. Let's hope we get a land next turn. Right, we don't, but we'll get another one of these, so why not? the end of the turn though. I mean what's that gonna do? Attack some right he's got um ah right so he tail swiped it okay well that's fair enough so we'll just use another one we'll not defend this time because he's just gonna pump them up right That's just no attacks for now. He doesn't know what he's gonna do. It needs three oil counters to go to three three. It's death touch. Have this one and then Harbin next turn. Hopefully, we don't get anything destroyed. So, what's next? We'll go 4 4 with this one. No attacks this turn. Harbin next turn will destroy everything. Right, that's fine. Don't mind that one. That's the next oil counter.
Right, we definitely need another counter on these guys. We just need to get Harbour and Vanguard out. Let's put all these at four. No attacks. What's he going to do? If he's got a fight card, then we are kind of in trouble. But if not, then I think we win next turn. Yeah. He's just going all out with that one, is he? I right, see so he's attacking. Yeah. We well, needed to do that. Right. So we definitely need to do this 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 time. We get more creatures on before we get Harbin out. And he's actually top decking now. So if he gets a land, he's in trouble. But he's probably going to get the only card that will kill us. So that's going to be a problem. Uh, let's put that on there. Let's just see what happens after the next turn. Hopefully, he draws a dud. That's a 3 3 now. Well, here we go. Well, let's go for this one and he gives up there you go we knew we had it we just needed to get enough creatures out on the board for that um, Harbin to take effect and we are now gold tier one so there we have it guys in the new meta for Phyrexia all will be one the Azorius soldiers deck is still top of the list and um, given a 63 point three percent win rate and it uses and utilizes zero that is none of the new cards and um wow it's still very overpowered and um, the only deck that we came in a, a little bit of trouble over was um that weird toxic one that was mono white for whatever reason i think it's because we weren't really um used to the new cards that were coming at us but we also almost fell to the the mono red deck but we managed to turn it around we outlasted their bombardment of attacks and then managed to claw back the win so that was that um so yay woohoo we are back in full swing with our magic of the gathering videos my broadband has been playing up a little bit i've got an engineer coming out on um wednesday um so hopefully my upload speed will be um fi getting fixed and my videos will be able to come out um on schedule they haven't been the last well for the last week or so so um, this is why I'm a little bit behind with the new content for the Magic the Gathering stuff. But anyway, if you have liked the episode, give me a like and a sub. And until next time, guys, that's it from me. And I will see you on the flip side.